Coach up. Forget all your trouble. Raise up. That's what I say. Fire. The freaky just hit me on the stick. invited all you creative people here because we need help in uh, forming the vision. I'm going to show you a technique. The technique I got from the Institute of Cultural Affairs, an organization that teaches this all over the world. And I was asked to uh, check the group out since I have been in military intelligence and a Secret Service person and I were asked to check them out and to see what they were doing. And we went to two of their courses on how to do what I'm doing today. And when I finished, we definitely felt that it should be treated as top secret because it, would, it, it turns around companies and brings them into success. And we didn't want uh, the other countries in the economic war to have that, uh, that skill level. And so I'm, I, I don't think there are any fascists or communists in the group here. I hope that, that will d d disperse this to other countries, uh, warning countries or anything of that, uh, of that sort. Can I interrupt for just a minute for a beverage announcement? We're going to order out um, like specialty coffees. If you want anything like a mocha, latte, cappuccino or whatever, could you just tear off the bottom sheet of paper with your order and your name and, uh, and, and, and Marie and I will take care of that. Sorry, John, I just... Okay. The you know uh, you, you you all in your articles will start with a good story, a good story. Don't, don't you do that? You you want to catch the person's attention. Yeah, yeah. So I will tell you a real life story of how after I went to the ICA and learned the technique. Uh, then I, I saw it in action in an unusual way. I have a survival school in the Superstition Mountains in Arizona. And it was formed by my friend a, uh, called Bigfoot. And he has big feet. He has 14, uh, size 14 feet. And he's uh, big, very big. And he was a wilderness expert that uh, was a hermit for years. And he wandered around South America, North America, and Europe and learned how to survive. And I was taught survival techniques in the, the Pentagon, and I also learned land navigation because I was in the armored reconnaissance and you drive 50 miles an hour in a Jeep and looking at the stars and trying to figure out where you are, so I was very good at that. So we began teaching a class called Zen and the Art of Land Navigation. I'm going to apply that to your situation, and you're going to see, have you ever used analogies and stories and things like that? It's going to be an analogy, and you can see how the analogy is, or maybe you can, you're very creative and you can see through the analogy. Okay, we, Bigfoot and I laid out the course. And this is wild country with, with cacti, uh, scratchy, uh, scratchy bushes, uh, huge uh, cliffs and, and, and whatnot. And on the second day as we laid out the course, we came to what we later call the Lambrint. The Lambrint. And the Lambrint was uh, this mixed up territory. Uh, it had uh, ridges, it had gullies, it had uh, uh, mountain peaks, uh, and it, if you look at a, if you know land navigation, the map looked like spaghetti, that you couldn't tell which way was, which way was up, which way was down, what was there. And we sat there and depressed and we said, no human being can get through this Lambert because it's, it's, too com it's too complicated. Now, on the other side of the Lambeth happened to be the ranch house, the Rebus Mountain School ranch house, where there were uh, orchards, there was a, a garden, a wonderful uh, organic garden, and there was a feast waiting for us. If you got through the Lambeth, then, and then you got to this, this feast. It was a wonderful, wonderful ending for, for the trek. But we had to go through the Lambeth. And uh, we said, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Okay, now I'm going to, what's, what's a flashback, what's a flash forward? I'm, I'm going to flash forward. I'm going to flash forward over a period of 25 years 
every one of our students got through the Lambert. And these were people who had never even seen a map and compass before. And then you're sort of thinking, how the hell did Bigfoot and John, uh, my name was Azmuth, I called me Azmuth, they called me Azmuth, and it was Bigfoot and Azmuth, how did we figure out how to get through it? And ironically, it was the technique of the Institute of Cultural Affairs which allowed us to do it. And uh, so, so this, was, this is a process, and this is a process we're going to go through. The first thing that we did was we had to find out where we were. If you don't know where you are, and you go a certain direction, you're going to get lost, aren't you? Is, is it, does it make, make, make sense? So the first thing we did, we made sure that we were exactly at the foot of a triangular hill. And we, we put an, a, 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 a square on the map. That was our, our, our beginning. And then the next thing we had to do is know is where we're going. If you don't know where you're going precisely, <coughs> aren't you going to get lost? Michael has heard the, 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 the story. So here, so here we are. The second thing we did was we determined where we were going. And it was a wonderful destination. There was going to be food there and everything else there. It was going to be delightful. And, and, and we were already uh, salivating it because we, we got to get through that. We got to get through that. What do you think the third step was? The third step was that we had to do in order to find our way through that mass of spaghetti and complexity and crossword puzzle. Uh, jigsaw puzzle. How, how do we how do we how do we do it? You did it. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> what we did is we, we 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 said, where do we not want to go? Where are the where are the obstacles? And so we we very simply circled all the obstacles, and we, and we circled Iron Mountain, which was uh, very steep. We circled. Uh, Dinosaur Ridge, which was a, a, a very, very narrow, uh, very narrow uh, ridge with hot, with steep sides. We, we we located where the cliffs were, and we circled them, and we circled areas which were vegetation, you know, very scratchy vegetation, and we circled all those. And what what happened? Well, how, how did this help us? You knew where not to go. We knew where not to go, which in the, in, the, in the correlative of that is what? Therefore, you knew where to go. <laughs> no, no, that's right. Like, we're not going to go over those, not going to go over Iron Mountain, we're not going to go over Dinosaur Ridge. We're going to, and, and, and it, was, it was clear. And then, then our, our next step was how are we going to get between the, the obstacles and, and around the, the various obstacles? And then we found saddles, and we found flat places, and we found the, the best way to get through these different different obstacles. And then what was the next, the, the next, the last step? And, and, we're, and we're going to do this. In fact, in fact, the Lambert is very much like we are here at, at Trans High. There are, we, there are things we're complaining about, there are problems, there are people that, that we feel aren't doing their job, people that are doing their job. It's, it's a big mass and how are we going to turn this into a direction and an objective? Find out where you are, exactly where you want to go. Third was to identify the obstacles, and then figure out how you're going to get around the obstacles. And then we had to lay out the route. stuttered so bad and I had nightmares because of the physical abuse and it wasn't I, I, I had to go on an immense voyage to figure this stuff out but when I was 15 and I discovered marijuana I stopped stuttering mm -hmm. 
Coach up. Forget all your trouble. Raise up. That's what I say. Light up. There's a boogie. The freak you just hit on the stick. Blow it. Hey.